M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Today we're using the Quasheng dock and uh, links will be provided. You can see that it's running right now here in the background. If I move that away, you can see the cable that's required if you want to hear audio and use the microphone. But as a channel editor, programmer, it will work straight away and you'll get the visuals. And what I do at the moment, because I haven't got the cable, I just turn on a radio next to it and listen. But anyway, so let's do the channel editor. So here it is running. Now, how do we get to two windows? If you look just here, we've got the word S-P-E-C-T. Click that and we go back to one, one window. There you go. Dual band, all the controls on the front are pretty much the same as, as your actual radio. And this is running the Exuma version, but you can run the version that comes from the factory but you do have to i will say you do have to upgrade the firmware to the type that will run this dock and nick shaw has provided many links for that and made videos and so have i myself so no problem there the quickest way is to use the the browser version from exuma but that's up to you of course so and how do we get two windows you just press that you get two windows and if we start pressing down here you get waterfalls um, analyzer and more yeah, we're not going to look at that now we're just going to look at the channel editor so look here on the left we've got my brother's radio here on the right he wants me to just change some of the channels a little bit on it so on the left here we're going to click channel editor you get this nice big window very easy to use and we're going to need to read from my radio so we're going to click read now nothing else can be using that com port so if you use you know, if you've, if you've just done the firmware, if you've just done something else, make sure you close those programs down and disconnect, otherwise it's not going to work. So then click read. Just wait for that. And it has read the radio. I, I recognize a lot of these memory channels. And so what he's asked me to do is just get rid of some of the things that he's not using. There's quite a few that I can't, I'm quite surprised how much I put in there for him. Uh, so a lot of these channels here look from 17 down as things that he will never ever use. So let's just start at the top here and we'll start doing the S20 channel. So we'll go, we'll change the frequency, we've double clicked it, it's gone white. Zoom it in a bit so you can just get the whole window. If you look on the right hand side you can go, you've got a slider for up and down on the left hand side. So let's just channel 17, we're gonna go one, four, five, and let's just delete all that down. So just click it, delete it. We're one, four, five dot, let's start up at 450, four, five, zero. And we'll do that, it's a simplex channel. I'll just do a couple and then you get the idea. One four five dot four five zero, which I believe is S eighteen. Actually, I should have done the name there. So the name is first. Sorry about that. My mistake. S twenty S eighteen, and then so we just delete that. S one eight. Okay, faffing a bit, but we're getting there. So we will delete that as well. So you've got at the top here. You've got R X T X one. 45.450, that's simplex. Okay, simplex basically means the same channel. You can set the bandwidth here. Looks like there's a tick or no tick for reverse. Bandwidth, double click, and you've got your drop down, wide or narrow. Then the power. And then we start doing things like I always just do the N code, so the TX CTCSS, on or off. You want none in that case because it's a simplex, so then the rest won't matter. So that's that one done, and then you just move on to the next one. And if, if it's a repeater, you'd be selecting, if you look further up here, near the top. GB3FI, it's a 70 centimeter repeater. And so we're putting in it, you're putting in the shift in the RX and the TX 7.6 shift there, and you're setting the tone just like you, sh you saw. And you've actually got modulation there, which I've noticed that many of mine are wrong. 
So we want FM. FM, just changing all these to FM. Yes, it does do airband. FM, like so. Change any names if you want. It looks like I have put some S20s in there before. And what are these random ones here, 437, I don't really know what that is. But anyway, we'll leave them in there for fun. They're probably, they might be PMR, maybe. Okay, once you're all done, then you want to write them to the radio. So you click write just here. Okay. Click OK. And it writes to the radio. And then we're back to just looking at our dock. So I have... I the bit I, I literally haven't had time to properly sit here and look at this. But if we go look here, there's a settings cog on the left there. So there's settings within that and the best thing is to tinker and when you've got your cable made you can select speaker and microphone. If you get a weird noise when it boots up Nick said, just tick or untick this box here. Now you can change colours. Waterfall gradient. Look at that. Yeah. Analyse the bars. They don't have to be green. They can be, can be red. Close. If we select. the waterfall and there's settings for this I, I, you know I, I literally haven't used it so I actually don't know sliders here and there's my now analyzer bars I'm sure you can change all that as well look at that there you go it looks a bit better done it channel editor was there and uh, you know, usual thing. Memory. Now, I'm a bit dumb. I can't actually see how to get out of once you go into analyzer and waterfall. How to get back to normal radio? Ah, I just pressed exit then, and that seems to have done it. Okay, well it's that easy. So analyzer, and then exit. We need some activity on that channel. Spectrum analyzer is 434. There seems to be some sort of range it's covering now. I don't actually know what normalize means. Okay. What else have we got here? What's this little thing? Usual numeric keypad. Exit. Hold down AB. Let's just go exit again. Hold down A, B, Look, doing that on number two, moving up and down. Hold down three, BFO, memory. Now this is Exuma, so how does it work if we go F5? Yeah, because so that doesn't give you the usual scope, but you select it, and that's the difference. F, we're in memory mode, so we go Hold down VFO, let's go to VFO mode. Actually, you know that now we're in memory mode. Let's try scrolling through the bounds by holding down one. No, are we in? Exit. Try again. There you are, holding it down, the left mouse, it's scrolling through the bounds, 55 megs, 133, 144, 286. 350, 899, so let's try just pressing number 5, see what happens, that's just acting as a 5, let's try that again, hold my finger on number 5, yeah, nothing, 4, ah, there's your frequency scanner, so if there's something in this room transmitting, uh, we should get some something will pick up. There you are, that's my node.
slightly off frequency, but it did work. Exit. Squelch. So that I'm saying that, yeah, that's opening up the squelch by clicking squelch. TX power. Let's uh, go clear again. Hold my finger on six. Yeah, you can see the power changing there. See it? Just here. Let's try the uh, scan button here. Just click it once. Mm -hmm. If I hold it, it's scanning, yeah. Hold it again. No, we'll click exit. It stops. Mm -hmm. Let's go F scan. Oh, it just does the, the frequency mm -hmm. search again. Let's go exit that a minute. Let's do just a quick press of the scan. See if that allows DTMF and by the looks of it. There is a TX lock here. Okay. Someone did point that out to me earlier that there is a TX lock. Well, it did say TX disable. So does that tell, I know I can see I'm on the wrong frequency. Does that tell me that it will TX using USB? That's interesting. So let's go to the memory channel. Let's hold down free and then some people chatting on that channel let's go down to a different channel now of course we can't hear but let's just see if it actually makes the radio tx even just with usb um, well, i'm pushing the wrong one so i'm unlocking it then ptt Still says TX disabled. Maybe, oh, look, it's an AM mode. So let's find a channel that actually works. And that shouldn't be an AM mode. So if I go to channel editor, let's have a look now. Mode. If I go into the menu, we'll go menu. And then we'll go down. We'll look for the, the mode selection. So we'll go down or up, we're going down at the moment till we see with the Exuma it's something like and it, you notice here on the left it says 11.60 so it's 11 menus of 60 that doesn't include the secret menu so 11 going down looking for the there are demodulation now to change it we press M and we go up you got USB, FM, then select M again, and then exit. So now let's see if it allows us to TX. Plus shift, we want 7.6 7 and CTCSS. So let's just check the shift. So go back to menu, and we're now looking for shift. Let's check we didn't go past it. Offset, right, here goes. Direction is plus, that would be right. Shift is 7.6, so that looks right to me. Let's just quickly check. Uh, PTT. It does, P it actually does PTT. Now, I never thought that, that that would do that. It actually does PTT using the PC. Now I'm curious to know if I can be heard when I PTT. Yeah, it was sending out a carrier, but um, you couldn't hear any modulation, but it was actually sending out a carrier and opening the repeater. So it seems like the CTCSS was going out, unless that was a coincidence. Anyway, um, bye for now. And it, you know, the radio did go into TX73.